Boom, what is up everyone? Andy Kruger here coming at you with a totally different kind of video today. Let me know what you guys think about it, if you like it, if you don't. If I lose half my subscribers, I'll know everyone hated it. But I'm gonna start a new playlist called Pro Tips. If you didn't know this about me already, I train pet dogs for a living. And every day as I'm working with the dogs, little things pop into my head that I consider tips that I think are really valuable pieces of information for people. I want to give you guys quick little bursts of training tips as I'm training my client dogs. So let me know if you guys like this stuff. Today, we're going to be working with my girl, Rosie. She's a six month old golden retriever. Pro tip of the day. When you have a puppy or a dog that is in training, before they exit their crate, leash and collar goes on. Before the leash and collar comes off, they are already back in their crate. It sounds simple, it's wildly important. The number one reason why you do not wanna just pop your crate door and let your puppy or untrained dog run out is because of this. Fluffy, come back. Wait, Fluffy, the trainer said we have to have you leashed. Wait a minute, Fluffy. So the trainer told you to have your dog leashed at all times out of the crate and now whoopsie daisy now they're not so the dog's first moment out of the crate is running excitement doing whatever they want to do then you're gonna have to work to reverse all that so that's why day one always right off the bat dog exits the crate once the leash is already on so you avoid that now i have to go track down my puppy i'm using a little slip lead because i love them and it's really easy check this out I open the crate, Rosie's trained to wait. As you can see, she's really excited to get out. Uh-oh, see the paw? That's a no-no. So she's waiting, slip lead. It goes on my doggy. Beautiful, doggy continues to wait, free. And then I can invite the dog out of the crate. Now I have the dog under control and I've already made them exercise some obedience exiting the crate, something they'll be doing multiple times every single day. When I put the dog back in the crate, this is how it should look. Rose, crate. She goes in with the leash still on. Of course, I'll never leave this in a closed crate with her, but she's in, the leash is on, and now look at me. I can take my leash off and I can close it. The point is, there was never a point where she was out of the crate without a leash on. That's super important. Now, if you are training a dog on a prong collar or a remote collar, I like those tools. If you hate those tools, I respect that too. You don't have to use them. But if you are, those can kind of be a pain in the neck to reach down in here and try to get on the dog. So a tip, leashing the dog, putting the equipment on, check this out. My easy slip lead. Free, climb. She's trying to go to this dog bed that happens to be right next to the crate. So now look at my dog. Now I can get my prong. Now I can get my remote collar. Since she's in the sitting position, on an elevated platform, it's going to make it really easy for me to attach my training collar rather than reaching all the way into that crate. Hey, girly. So I'm going to come in. Nice. My collar can go on nice and easy. Leash goes on the dog before they exit the crate. Leash comes off the dog after they're already back in the crate. That's a pro tip. Rose, free. Crate. My dog's in the crate. What a good girl. I reach in. Thank you very much. It was fun training. I'll see you after your nap. There's your pro tip for the day. Let me know what you guys think of this video if you want more content like this. It's a little bit of an experiment, but again, I am a pet dog trainer. I don't just do the Malinois and the ring sport. I train these guys too. So just wanted to show you guys that. And also big announcement coming next year early next year spring maybe earlier i am releasing a video series that will be available for purchase there is absolutely nothing like this on the market it's in-depth step-by-step 
instructional training, stuff like this, all kinds of stuff. It'll be available for purchase. And I'm telling you what, there is no content of dog training this educational that's gonna be this entertaining. I think you guys are gonna love it. So stay tuned for updates on that. Until next time, happy training.